thank you for being who you are. Where is the sister? Oh, she's got the baby. wave. Say hi everybody. Until you are confident with your situation, until you understand that God never makes mistakes, He, what you are, find God to understand the purpose. Only He can. I mean, who would have thought? Bring that baby. When the sister died, your auntie, she took this little girl. Come on. Do you see what? <sighs> Give love. Are you understanding? Give love to somebody. Your circumstances should not determine the amount of love you give to other people. Am I talking to somebody? She adopted this child as her own. And what a wow. And that child knows her as mother from birth. Amen? Don't let anybody tell you Don't let anybody define you. My name is Nkole, like Dad said. I wasn't born like this. Um, just happened in uh, 2001, June. Uh, before I wrote my, my EMIS exams, I was supposed to sit for my exams. I started feeling very low. I started feeling like I was unworthy. And um, I started hearing voices. So I... I missed my exams because I was not in a condition to write my exams. And then um, the same year, 2001, in uh, November, I stopped working. I've not worked since. So um, 2004, I told my mom and my dad, he's late now, that I wanted to move out from my big soul. So we moved to Avondale. And in Avondale, um, I got to meet a classmate, an old classmate at Kaplonga Girls, and she introduced me to a friend who introduced me to a drop-in center, and there I trained as a psychosocial counselor, a peer educator, and also did home-based care. I completed that, it was all free. Then uh, my dad passed away, we moved back to the farm, and uh, I started thinking, what, what, what now? I had, I had, when I was five years old, I can tell you, I knew exactly what I wanted to be when I was five years old. I wanted to help people, uh, feed people, clothe people. That was just my vision as a child. And uh, I remember because my dad used to travel a lot. Uh, he was working for Ministry of Commerce. I would ask him, how come you take uh, uh, products from Zambia to sell and yet people in Zambia are starving? So for me... Uh, that was like my, my dream to help people. And um, I, I enrolled in online classes. I started doing business entrepreneurship. I joined Anakazi. And I'm one of the success stories of Anakazi. I chose Moringa because I was on Moringa as a food. I'm HIV positive. I've been living with HIV for this year. June will be 21 years I'm alive. I've, I don't get sick. When I get tired, that's the, only, that's the only sickness I have. Otherwise, I don't get sick. I've never had any, any problems with my, my health. Uh, 2007, I had two lumbar punctures because the doctors thought there was something in my spine. Uh, it wasn't there. It was just that my nerves were sleeping. And with uh, a lot of exercise and uh, prayer, I could start walking again. So um, I, I met a guy on, online. We started an, a Moringa Africa um, a WhatsApp group. And then later on, I became founder of the same Africa Moringa NGO. 
it was in, in 40 African countries. I stepped down because, like I, like I said, in my childhood, I wanted to focus on my country, Zambia. And I learned that, you know, people are making products and making money, getting out of poverty and being empowered out of Moringa. So I, I, I talked to other people and we formed the Women Youth Moringa Valley Addition Cooperative where I'm, where I'm a patron. Uh, this year I was appointed Shine Africa Ambassador for Moringa. It's in 57 countries, not only in Africa, but also outside. And for me, f since 2011, my motto has been my disability is God's ability because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I, I've been on TV, I've been in magazines, and I always say that. I've got a lot of followers on Facebook, but I always say, I always give glory to God because all these things that have happened to me, it's not me, it's God. And I always emphasize that it's God who got me where I am today. It's God that I'm not sick. It's God that those lumbar punctures, people died, I'd lost my aunt, but I survived. And because uh, uh, it was done in Sinazom Hospital in Kitwe, they said, oh no, there's nothing like really wrong with their spine because the doctors at UTH and the San Hospital, they were thinking, I don't know, I would never walk again. I've been told in my face that I'll never walk again. And immediately I was told that I rebuked those words. I said in my heart, you're not God. God is my creator and it's going to reveal what is wrong with me and God is going to make me walk again. Yeah. And uh, what I've learned, because I, I, before when I, people were like, oh, she's, she's this, she's this. Everyone wanted to be my friend. So I've only got three friends. Mwansa who introduced me to the church here. I've got Jacqueline, she's my childhood friend. Uh, we met uh, at Kasama Girls grade, I was in grade eight, I was only 12, she was 13. And I don't know why I'm in farming. I used to hate farming. Give me a hoe and I'll start crying. I would argue with the teacher and would say, but Chanda, you're so lazy, your father's got a farm. I don't know who told you my dad has had a farm. And I would answer, but sir, he's got workers to do that. I don't do that. I'm also CEO of the family company that my dad started before he passed away. We make products, we make a lotion, we make soaps, we make, I make my own hair food, I've got my own product. And I'm behind the research of the same things that we make. So uh, I'm helping my mom because the Bible says, honor your mother and your father. So I'm honoring my dad in his death and I'm, on, I'm honoring my mom. And I'm also happy my other mother is here. Uh, Mrs. Malijani, she's known me since I was three years old. S yeah, she's very supportive. And um, when I was depressed, she would she would send a car to pick me up and would go to church, and I would give my testimony there. So for me, it's not about in college; it's all about God because nothing is impossible with God. People have tried to pull me down. I was very shy. I I didn't like the limelight. I was I was in that advert, the first Dynamo advert. I went I incognito for years. I was discovered last year, and the, pa the paper sold. I d I don't like attention drawn to me. I j I just want it, whatever I do. It's just for God's glory. I am who I am because of God. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Daddy. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for those that don't know me, I'm Jackie and my middle name is Chansa, but I love to say Chansa means Chansansa. Most of you are members, I think you know what Chansansa means. Uh -huh. I'm Jackie Chansa Katai, if Mr. Katai can tie a tie, then why can't I tie a tie, if Mr. Katai can tie a tie, that's me. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... In 20, no, first let's say grace before I start talking. <sighs> My Lord God, I come before at this hour. Father Lord, I thank you for everybody that's here. I thank you, my Father, for rendering this opportunity through Apostle VM for me to just share my testimony and also the word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I also pray for everybody that will be going back home 
that they may go back home touched and they may feel touched so that they may reflect on what I'll talk about. And I'm going to motivate most of them, not everybody. In the mighty holy name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Okay. So, um, in 2015, when I was in school, I was at Mulongoshi University. In 2015, I was diagnosed with a condition called multiple sclerosis. And I was already in school at that time, yeah. Uh, it was multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is uh, an autoimmune disorder. So meaning that most of, them, most of my organs, if not all of them in my body, were actually affected. They shake. As you can see, there's somebody holding my head right now because my head is shaking. My, he my head is shaking uncontrollably on its own, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's due to the same condition so uh, it was so hard for it to be finally diagnosed. I went to different hospitals. Sorry to say this, even traditional healers, I went to them. Yeah, that was me. I don't I think I almost became a satanist. <laughs> I've met some people. I'm not even ashamed. I've met some people that have called me that. Most of them said that I'm a satanist. I'm trying to initiate people in their family. So I'm just lying about this condition. That Ulian is certain is fear, a little bit fear, something like that. Yeah, though that I, would, I wouldn't even get affected because I knew that uh, anyway, only God knows. Only God knows, and I know what I'm going through. I'm the one feeling the pain. Uh, at first, um, uh, it used to depress me. This condition used to depress me because I was the type that was the model. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was a model. I'm going to show you some of my pictures. I was doing modeling. I've modeled at my school, Mulungush University, and I've also done Miss University. And by God's grace, I never ever lost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. So, see, when, when I'm done talking, maybe some of you are going to see some of my pictures. Yeah. So I've been to different hospitals. The first hospital I went to, at first I used to stagger in school like a drunk person. I used to stagger in school like a drunk person. I never ever believed whatever was happening to me. And also it affected my eyesight. I may be looking at you. Some of you, oh, I'll meet you tomorrow and I'll say, oh, just ask somebody next to me. Oh, mom, mom, who's that person? Because I don't see you clearly, but I look at you like I'm seeing you clearly. And I love you. <laughs> I look at you like I'm looking at you normally. I'll probably forget you the next time. I'm always asking, Mom, who's that person? Or when we go to a function, I always, Mommy always tells the people that come to me that before you talk to Jack, before you chat with her, please introduce yourself. Just don't, just, just don't be like, uh, just don't go straight to the point and then you start chatting with her. Tell her that. Jackie, this is copy or this is what, so that she recognizes you. I may have uh, sight and all that, but it isn't clear because this condition affected my eyesight, my brain. I kind of forget things easily, I've, like I've got short-term memory, so I easily forget things. Yeah, what else? Oh, the shaking, oh, the tremors. Yeah, I, sh I shake uncontrollably. That's why he's holding my head. Um, then my hand shakes a lot. What else? What else? What else is affected? Mm. Oh, my lungs. I usually have loss of breath when I talk too much. I, f I fail to breathe. I just go, like, oh my God, I'm tired. I need to rest. I need to rest. I can't talk. I can't talk. Yeah, I forget. Shall we give it up to the model? My name is Betty, and um, I was born in 1994. Um, both parents died when I was six years old, and the one who used to take care of me it was my grandma in Chongwe. Uh, when I reached grade nine, there was no one to support me. So my grandma talked to Mother Inonge, uh, my mother, at Memphis 25, if she can allow to take me. 
she has got a center in Chongwe. She used to come and to bring things like uh, books to help us to school and other things, food. She gives a lot of people. She helps a lot of people in Chongwe. Um, I was one person who never liked to stand in, in front of people and speak out because I was shy. I was like, mm, what are they going to think about me? Me, I can't do anything in my life because of my condition. Amen. But I thank God. Uh, and mom allowed me, she took me home at Matthew 25 when I was 13 years old. And, uh, <laughs> amen. <laughs> I went there when I was in grade 9, and I failed three times. I didn't do well. Amen. But I thank God. Mom continued to pray for me, and she taught me how to pray and to fast, also to depend on God. And I've seen God in my life, because without God, I can't even stand and speak to you. Amen. So God is faithful, and God, there's nothing impossible to God. All things are possible. Uh, and uh, through praying, she used to pray, we used to pray together, and um, she made me to be strong in God, to pray, even if she's not around, I can pray alone, amen. So I, went, I went further up to grade 12, and I finished my grade 12 in 2015, I went ahead doing teaching, and when I completed, uh, I completed teaching in 2018, I went ahead, uh, I was working, and I was staying alone, and also my graduation was in 2019. I was like, how? How am I going to wear the gown? But God is faithful. I wear the gown. Amen. Amen. And I graduated. I thank God for that. Amen. And I was also praying that God, you have done all these things for me. And now I'm looking for a man to marry me. I was praying for, to God that God should do, direct a man to come and marry me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And uh, God is faithful. He directed this man to come to propose to me. Amen. <laughs> and uh, I told him off because I vowed in my life that I want a man to marry me, not things for outside. I don't want them. Amen. Hide and seek is not my portion. So <laughs> <laughs> I was staying alone by then, but I told him off that yes. <laughs> uh, I didn't want hide and seek in my life. I want to think that is uh, open and everyone should know. <laughs> Amen. That go and God has directed this man. I was staying alone by then. His mom was. Uh, I've started working now. She released me to start staying alone. Amen. That's when I found this man. And I was like, yes, you have liked me. You love me. But I want you to go to mom. I want you to go and see mom. Because mom is the one who has raised me. And she has raised me. She has taught me a lot of things. She has taught me to be disciplined. And she taught me that any man that will come in your life, please, you tell us. Amen. I sent him. He was like, he used to come. If I used to chase him. Go. You should go and see my mom. If you want me, you should go and see my mom. That's what I want. Amen. And I thank God and God provided. You went there to see my mother. Amen. And they sat, they talked. Amen. And I thank God. Mom talked to Apostle. Amen. And our wedding was here. Amen. <laughs> And when mom was telling me that you bet you're going to have a wedding, I was like, how? The wedding dress, how am I going to wear? How am I going to look? But God is faithful. Amen. And our wedding was here. We thank God for Apostle. He's the one who bought my husband the suit and everything. Amen. There was also a lady from here, Adulam, who bought for me the wedding dress and everything. And she sent somebody to put me makeup. Amen. And my wedding was here. I thank God for that. And also, uh, the women from Preskis and Center, they bought for me dinner set. Auntie Maggie bought for me a fridge. And Auntie Naomi uh, also, she, she paid for us the hotel. When we were from here, we went for honeymoon in hotel. Amen. 
God is faithful. God is good. And I've seen the hand of God in my life. Amen. I've never slept in a hotel before, but that day I went in the hotel. Amen. I thank God. And also uh, people are saying, no, she's not going to have a child. How? The pregnancy is going to stay where? But God is faithful. Amen. Amen. I've got a son. God has blessed me with a child. That's the child that we're talking about. Amen. Amen. <laughs> this is the child that God has blessed me with. Eh? Amen. I thank God for Apostle because our wedding was here and she blessed us. She opened the doors. Amen. Whatever people were saying, I was not listening to them because they are not my final say in my life. God is the final say in everybody. Amen. Despite the disability, despite is a God who doesn't have partiality. Is God who loves us unconditionally. As Jeremiah 29, verse 11, he said that God has got good plans to prosper us, not plans to harm us. The plans that people have in our lives, not the plans that God has in our lives. So I thank God for this church. I thank God for Mother Inonge. And I thank for everyone who supported us uh, on our wedding day. And I thank God for this invitation. But not worry, mana, umupashi, and umupashi, amen. In Pantu, umuntu, she pepper, eh, them sango covering and the own say, Tamuava, it's Temoko, because the Muntuka Tamunga tapepa and she's Temoko Munganda, it's a potential for the Chikaya. Langula, Mungakala Shan, or Munga Potashan in the Lamasan, Namukate, too much, but not a party, it's Temoko to put a new, the Kuakaweko Chikaya, amen. Mm. <laughs>
Jesus' name. 